In previous video tutorial, we have built the multiple linear regression model for you. In this video tutorial, we are going to visualize this multiple linear regression model using the ggplot. So let's first call the ggplot library. And we hope so that up till this point, you will be comfortable to call the ggplot library by yourself. To call this library, we will type the library. And after typing the library, we will type the ggplot2 and then we will run this piece of code. Once you will run this piece of code, now the ggplot library is loaded and we can use all of the functionalities of the ggplot2 library. After calling the ggplot library, now let's start to build the graphs. But before building the graph, please let us tell you that here you are going to plot the four different variables in a one plot. The four different variables includes the heart rate, age, systolic blood pressure, and the cholesterol. In a previous video tutorials, you have seen that how we can plot the two different variables, one on a y-axis, another on an x-axis. But this is going to be a bit complicated one. So please don't worry and don't panic. We will explain the step-by-step -step process that how you can plot all of these four different variables in a one single graph. So let's begin. We will take start by typing the ggplot and after typing the ggplot, we will give the parenthesis and inside the parenthesis, we will type the name of the variable that is holding our data. And as you know that, the name of the variable that is holding our data is data. After typing the data, we will give the comma and after giving the comma, now we will type the EES to define the static layer. Now in that static layer, we are going to define that which variable will be on an x-axis and which variable on the y-axis. As we told you earlier that the explanatory variables should be on the x-axis, while the response variable should be on a y-axis. So here we are going to have the one response variable which is heart rate and the three explanatory variables. So let's see that how we are going to plot that one. We will plot them one by one. So let's take start with the first variable that is age. So we will type x and then we will type the name of the first variable that is age. After defining the first variable on an x-axis, we will give the comma and then we will define that which variable will be on the y-axis. And as you know it very well, that the response variable will be on the y-axis. We will type the y and then we will give the sign of equality and we will define the name of the variable that should be on the y-axis and that is a heart rate. After defining the name of the variable on a y-axis, we will come out of the parenthesis and we will give the plus sign. After giving the plus sign, now we will define the geometry of the plot. And the geometry of the plot will be a scatter plot. So we are going to define the geom underscore point and we will give the parenthesis here. After this one, Let's run this piece of code. When you will run this piece of code, then you can see the plot. And in this plot, there are just two variables. The one is a heart rate on a y-axis and age on an x-axis. But obviously, this plot is not very suitable for us in case of the multiple linear regression. So let's make this plot a bit more comprehensive. Let's come back to the parenthesis of the geom underscore point. And within the geom underscore point, let's add the statics. So we are going to type the EES, and after typing the EES, I'm going to give the parenthesis once again. And within this parenthesis, we are going to define the color is equal to age. This addition in a piece of code will define the color to the age variable. Now what will be the color? We will define it very shortly. Now before explaining it, let's move back. And let's get the coefficient out of your models. What are the coefficients? We will explain it to you very shortly. To get the coefficients, we are going to use one function, COES. So please let us demonstrate it to you. We are going to define one variable, let's say it as C. And the C stands for what? The C stands for coefficients. After typing the C, we are going to give a sign of equality in R, and we are going to use a function, COEF. The COEF is a short name of coefficients. After using a COEF, we will give the parenthesis and within the parenthesis, we will type the name of the variable that is holding our multiple linear regression model. 
And as you know it very well, the name of the variable that is holding our model is model. After typing this, let's run this piece of code. When you will run this piece of code, then the coefficients of our model will be stored in a variable name C. Let's type the C and let's see that what is present in it. So we are going to type the C and we are going to run it. So when you will run the C, then look at the console. In the console, you are going to find out the four different values. The one value is a value of intercept. The second value is age. This third value is for the systolic blood pressure. And the fourth value for the cholesterol. If you remember the simple linear regression model basic concepts, you can understand it very easily that the values which are written below the age, systolic blood pressure and the cholesterol, technically these are the slopes. And we are going to call them the coefficients. So here in a C variable, we have stored our four coefficients. The first coefficient is the intercept, while the other three coefficients are the slope with respect to their variables. We hope so that this point will be clear to you. If this point is clear to you, now let's come back to the ggplot. So here in the ggplot, we have defined the color to the age. After typing this, let's give a plus sign. After giving a plus sign, give the enter. And when you will give the enter, then you will see that the cursor will have a small intent. You can keep writing the code after the plus sign. There is no harm in it. But just for the sake of simplicity, we are going to write down the code below the first one. Now after this, now this is a time to define the ab line. The ab line will be our regression line. To define the ab line, we will type the geom underscore ab line. And after typing the ab line, we will type the intercept. The intercept argument will basically define that where will be the intercept above our age variable. After typing the intercept, we will type the C and then we will give the two square brackets and type 1. What does it really mean? As you know it very well that we have stored all of the coefficients in a C variable. And the first value of a C variable is basically the intercept. So we are defining it here that where will be our intercept. After typing this, we will give the comma and now we will type the slope. After typing the slope, we will give the sign of equality and once again we will type C and then we will give the square brackets and now we are going to type 2. Can you guess that why we are going to type 2? Because for the age, the slope value is stored at the second position of our C variable. As you can see here in the console, the second variable is an age that is holding the slope value. After defining the slope, give a comma, and after giving a comma, now let's define the color. Let's assume for a moment that you are interested to have a blue color of an age variable line. So we will type the blue here, and after typing the blue, then we will give a comma, and then we will type the line type. After writing the line type, we will give the equality sign, and then we will type the solid. You can have a different type of the lines, including the dashed line or the dotted lines, but here we want to have the solid line. After typing this, let's run this piece of code. When you will run this piece of code, then look at the plot section of your R Studio. In the R Studio, you will see the one line having the intercept and the slope, and this line is going to represent the age. So we have successfully plotted our age variable regression line on the plot. That is showing the slope and the intercept on the y-axis. Now this is time to move for a second variable that is going to be the systolic blood pressure. And we will use the same symmetry to plot the systolic blood pressure on our plot. How? Let's see. After this piece of code, we will give a plus sign and once again we will hit the enter button. We'll come to the next slide and here once again we will time the geom underscore point. 
Now, why we are going to type geom underscore point? Because we also want to show the systolic blood pressure here on this plot in the form of a scatter plot. So that's why we are going to define it that where the data points of the scatter plot should be on our plot. And we want to have the data points of our systolic blood pressure on an x-axis. So we will type the x is equal to systolic blood pressure. After defining the x, now what we will do, we will give a comma and we will define the y. And on the y, you know it very well, there will be the heart rate. After typing this, we will give a one more comma and we will define the color. And here we are going to define the color of what? We are going to define a color of systolic blood pressure. Now after typing this, let's run this piece of code. When you will run this piece of code, then you can see it here that now the systolic blood pressure data points are also plotted on an x-axis. This is pretty good. But where is the regression line? To build the regression line, we will give the plus sign here. And after giving the plus sign here, we will move to the next line. And here in this next line, we will define this regression line for our systolic blood pressure by using the geom underscore ab line. So we will type the geom underscore ab line. And after typing the geom underscore ab line, we will define the intercept and the slope. So we will type the intercept. And to define the intercept, we will type the C that is holding the value of our intercept. After typing the C, we will give the scale brackets. And within the scale bracket, we will define where our intercept value will be in the C. Can you guess where will be our intercept value? You are right. Our intercept value will be a first value. So we will type the one here. After this, we will give a comma. And now we will define the slope. To define the slope, we will type the slope. And after, after typing the slope, we will give the sign of equality. And after giving the sign of equality, we will give the scale bracket. And after typing the scale bracket, we will type the index or the position where the value of the slope will be in our C variable. So where it will be? Obviously, this is going to be at the third position. So we will type three here. After this, we will give the comma and we are going to define the color of the line. To define the color of line, we will type the color, we will give the sign of equality, we will give comma inverted comma, and then we will define the color of the line that we want to have. Let's say that we want to have a green color. So we will type green. After typing the green, we will give the comma once again, and we are going to define the line type. What type of the line we want to have? Is it a dashed line or is it a solid line? So we will type the line type. And after typing the line type, we will give the sign of equality. And within a comma inverted comma, we are going to type the solid because we want to have the solid line. After typing this piece of code, let's run it. And when you will run this piece of code, then look at the plot. In the plot, now you are going to have the two lines. The one blue line is going to represent the age, while the second green line is going to represent the systolic blood pressure. Now this is time to plot the third variable, which is a cholesterol. To plot the cholesterol, we will give the plus sign here and we will come to the next line. And here we are going to define our the third variable, which is a cholesterol by typing geom underscore point. Obviously, we want to have a cholesterol on our x-axis, so we will type the x is equal to cholesterol. After typing the cholesterol, we will define the y, and on the y, as you know it very well, there will be heart rate. So we will type the y is equal to heart rate. After defining the heart rate on a y-axis, we will give the comma, and we are going to define the color now. So we will type the color is equal to cholesterol. After typing this, let's run this piece of code. When you will run this piece of code, then have a look on the plot section. In the plot section, you can see the cholesterol variance plotted. Now this is time to build the regression line. To build the regression line, once again, we are going to use the ab line. To build the ab line, we will give the plus sign and we will come to the next line. And on the next line, we will type the geom underscore ab line. 
After typing the zoom underscore ab line, we will give the parentheses and within the parentheses, first we will define the intercept. So we will type the intercept. And then we are going to define the name of the variable that is holding the value of intercept. And name of that variable is C. And after typing the C, we will give the square brackets. And within the square brackets, we will type the index or the position where our intercept will be in a C variable. And as you know, that this is going to be the first position. So we'll type a one here. After typing the one, we will give the comma. And then we will define the slope. So we will type the slope. And then we will type the name of the variable that is holding the slope value. And then we will give the scale brackets. And within the scale brackets, we will define the position where our slope value will be in a C variable. And that will be the position 4. After this, we will give a comma. And after giving a comma, we will define the color. So let's type the color equal to, and let's say that we want to have a color of red. So we will type red here. After typing the red, we will give a comma, and now we will define the line type. So we will type the line type, and once again, we want to have a solid line, so we will type the solid. After typing this piece of code, let's run it. So when you will run this piece of code, then see the plot. In the plot, now you will have the regression lines on the cholesterol as well, and that is obviously in a red color. You can change the color as per your own wish. Now let's give a final touch. In a final touch, we are going to apply the classical theme to remove the background gray color. To do that, we will give a plus sign and then we will type the theme underscore classic. Now let's run this piece of code. When you will run this piece of code, now look at the shape of the plot. Now you are going to have a better visualization of the plot. We hope so that now you will be comfortable to build the regression plot by yourselves by using the ggplot. In the next video tutorials, we will explain it to you that how you can interpret the values of the multiple linear regression and also how you can interpret this plot. So please stay with us.